Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today is my Monday Plan With Me video. So, I am going to lay out all the videos I have planned for this week, and this is kind of a May-June changeover week, so it's going to be a little wonky, but bear with me. So today's Monday, today's Plan With Me. I'm kind of zoomed out, and I'm going to show you why. Um, Tuesday is going to be Game of Shrooms, and I'm going to start the painting process of painting on brick and show you what that evolves, show you what that looks like in case you have an inkling or interest or just curiosity as to what that entails and looks like. Um, the first Wednesday of every month I do sort of an everything paper video and I'm going to be talking about moleskin paper and the company. So I'm very excited for that because I have a couple of those products and I, well, we'll get there when we get there. Thursday is my draw with me, paint with me, grab your sketchbook, let's doodle together for 10 minutes. These go up later in the evening because we are homeschooling. Friday, I want to talk about painting on rocks. This is really popular and I thought I would show you a couple different ways to do it where it might be easier or more interesting. If this is something that you are gravitating towards or something your community is doing. We're going to have a big old discussion about that on Friday. Saturday is my day off. Well, that'll be a discussion and a demo. I'll show you some stuff. And then for Sunday, it's going to be art news. So for this week's illustration, <laughs> I took my two drawing inks that I never use. And these are the Windsor Newton. This is the Cobalt this is the Scarlet. The Scarlet is very hot pink. Both these are fugitive inks. These are not light fast. In their drawing ink collection, very few of them are light fast. I'll link a PDF that shows you which ones are. I think it's like black, white, um, maybe gold, but their bright colored ones just aren't. So I mixed them together and created some dots. And then I started going over them with a jelly roll and I'm doing flowers, but I want to show you something else I've been doing in here. So I've been doing paper tests on the Tomoe River. Now I know this is meant for drawing ink, but I just kind of wanted to see what I could do with this paper and how far I could push it. So I started trying some dry media and I did the same swatch on two pages and one is with fixative, one is without. So these are the graphite blocks this is the Richson Soft Pastel. Here's Vine Charcoal. Here are Dark Charcoal Pencil. And these are the Conte Paris Sanguine Pen. And so these have been sprayed and most of these are fine. Um, the dye from the pastel did bleed through when sprayed. Um, these ones haven't been sprayed, so there is transfer. I just wanted to see what dry media would look like. Um, what creating with this on this paper would look like and then spraying over it. I wanted to see if it would change the texture or if it would look weird with fixative spray and it looks the same, it looks fine. So you could dry media on this paper too. I just wanted to show you that before I got to drawing that I have been <laughs> doing other things on this paper. Um, it takes to wet media, I do wanna show you after I finish, I'm doing little tiny daisies with these. That this is two layers. So the first layer were the swirls, and then the second layer I went over and sort of created a background. With the second layer, I did have bleed through with this drawing ink. So I don't mind that it came through. This whole thing is sort of a test and an experiment. And I'm I'm enjoying experimenting. I think you should always have sort of a safe place to explore and get weird with it. And this is one of mine. So, how was your weekend? Was it fun? Was it relaxing? Did you get any creating done? May is almost over, folks. It's almost over. Can you believe it? I'm trying to make sure everything's on the on camera here. I can't believe how fast May has gone by. June, oh my goodness. I'm just not ready. 
You know, with June, the year's like half over, which is wild to me. Let's do a big one down here. Anyway. So I'm just going for all my fugitive products. I'm going to do probably pilot pens. That's what this purple is, in case you were wondering. It's the uh, G, the G2. And these fugitive inks. I put them on with a um, a four round paintbrush just to sort of try this out a little bit. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do long term with these inks because they're just kind of, it's just not something I gravitate towards, drawing ink. So I either get a notebook that can handle drawing ink, and I just start making all my notes in ink <laughs> instead of pencil, which I can't buy anything, I'm doing a no-buy. Um, or I just sporadically, once a month, try and create with them. That's gonna be kind of slow going, using them up, but I don't wanna waste anything, you know? So, these are some flowers, and I'm going to grab another pilot. This is the pink one. That's the G2. I don't know why this one's polka dot. It Maybe it was part of a special packaging collection or something. I'm not sure. I never know with packaging what um, companies and things are doing. So... That's what this week looks like. It looks a little floral. It looks a little wild. We're just kind of creating weird flower petal things. So but this week's gonna be fun. Painting on bricks. <laughs> You know, sometimes I do a thing and I'm like, would I have seen myself doing this a year ago? And the answer is always no, which makes me laugh and makes me happy. Because at least I know I'm, I'm spicing it up and I'm keeping it real weird for myself. So I don't get bored or anything. <laughs> no, no, bricks are great. <laughs> for garden paths, for garden walls, yeah, and illustration. Naturally. All right. Maybe I'll, I'll put one in here for Saturday, just for fun. All right. So that's what this week looks like in videos. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.